Hi, I'm Vincent and today I'm going to explain you Epic Arpeggiator Revision 3. If you're already familiar with the tool from the past, previous revisions, then the first screen is pretty familiar, uh, which is the classic view. In this video I'm going to start with the options. There are only a few options to explain, uh, but they are applicable uh, throughout uh, the other two tabs from the application. The first one is the device setting, in which you can choose the MIDI device that you want to use to control uh, the note input fields of this tool. And of course you can select the MIDI channel uh, at which you decide to broadcast your notes. Then there is this record button and if you press it it turns red and it means that you are arming the tool to receive the MIDI notes into the fields where you want to populate your notes. Uh, this function also has a shortcut which is F5 so if you press the F5 the button turns red. If we go to the classic view you can also know that you are armed uh, when you press F5 because the top tab turns red. As soon as you press F5 and you press one key on your keyboard you can see the notes changing here in the matrix or if you select custom track notes will be added into the custom note profile. If you want to start over clear the note profile and then it will start from the beginning. Um, and the same goes for the envelope arpeggiator, uh, in which you also have a cursor that turns red if you arm the recording session. So that is uh, regarding the recording. Uh, below that is the layout type for the pattern arpeggiator. Uh, you have the classic mode view here and I'm now currently recording in uh, for a netbook profile and as you can see netbooks don't have much screen estate and uh, so I made the tool a little bit more netbook friendly so you can either choose the tabs which allows you to have a more compact view of the tool uh, without exaggerating uh, in requiring screen estate. Or you can simply say I need a few options uh, visible at the same time but not everything. So this allows you to customize your view uh, depending on which area that you want to see in the current view. Uh, the bottom line is the sequence aligns. Uh, you have the same option here in the envelope arpeggiator uh, track editor and you can uh, view up to 50 lines if you want to this would however cause a problem that the option is di disappearing underneath the bottom so the only way to recover this is to change the amount back at this part and then you will have again full view of the track sequencer. Okay, that was it for the simple options explanation. Join me in the next video and then I'm going to explain you the pattern arpeggiator.